Now this project is really cool. Now we're going to build what's called a cloud tracker and it will let you know at the end of the day whether the skies were clear or whether they were cloudy. Now here's what you need to do. You need to get yourself a container. It can be a film canister or it can even be a soup can. It's totally up to you. Both of them will work fine. And you need some paper that is sensitive to sunlight, meaning that it will change colors when it's exposed to the sun. And so I've got a package of a sun print kit here that I'm going to be using the paper from. And you also need a way to punch a hole in the side of your container. So if it's plastic like a film can, you might be able to just get something sharp and poke a hole. But if it's a soup can, you're definitely going to need a drill with a drill bit. Don't forget to pull out your pair of scissors as well. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is open up your sun print kit. Now, this is not something you want to open up outside because it'll expose all the paper and you won't be able to use it again. So in a dark room, go ahead and open this up carefully. Okay. And take out one of the packages. Now, you'll notice that they're sealed in this really black plastic. And so that's, again, to protect it so it doesn't get exposed too quickly. So when you are preparing your... Uh, instrument, make sure you do it in a dark place where it's not going to start to change color. Okay, so I'm going to show you with a film canister how you do this, but again, you can simply take an empty soup can, just go ahead and open it up, use the contents, and then bring it back when it's nice and clean. Sometimes the edges here can get kind of sharp for a soup can, so you can just um, put a layer of duct tape or electrical tape around the inside to just cover that up. So I'm going to use a film canister and the first thing I need to do is put a hole in the side of the film canister. Okay. All right, and so I need to trim this because it's not going to fit inside my container. If you're using a soup can, this is actually a pretty good size. So I'm going to cut it into quarters. Okay, and then I'm going to put this back in the bag so I can use it again. So do you see my hole right here? That's the hole I just drilled. I'm going to insert my sheet blue side up, and it's going to be on the opposite side from the side with the hole. Okay, push it in and seal it. Now, if you're using a film canister, this is easy, but if you're using a soup can, you're going to have to make a piece of cardboard or something that fits over the end so you can block out all the light. Okay. So now all I need to do is go outside. And while I'm outside, what I'm going to do is I'm going to prop this up so it's at an angle like this. And so my hole here is pointed up so sunlight can reach it. So the sun is going to come on one side, it's going to rise, and then it's going to set over here. And I want as much sun to come into this light as possible. So you want to make sure it's not just facing east. So the best way to get the most amount of sunlight in here is to either place this canister facing south if you live in the northern hemisphere or north if you live in the southern hemisphere and that will give you the most amount of sunlight that'll reach inside. Okay, And then set it out in the morning and then check it just before dinner. So we're going to open up our container and remove the piece of paper from inside. And if you look carefully, you'll notice that there's a thick line that's darker here, and it's got gaps in it. Where those gaps happen, that's actually where the sun didn't change the color of the paper. So those are areas of clouds. Now, I started this one just before lunchtime, so you can see that my arc kind of starts just a little before the uh, top position here. So this is at about 11 o'clock and then it continued on till about 4 o'clock. Now if I had started this at sunrise it would make a complete arc all the way across the paper. 